Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your Arduino to have both the dark theme as well as custom fonts. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're going to work with uh, the dark theme and to do that, uh, it's going to be on GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, it's on Jeff Thompson's page. And here's kind of a preview of what the dark theme looks like. Okay, so first just go ahead and download the zip file. Save it. Open it up. Uh, navigate to theme and just go ahead and save it on your desktop. All right, good. So now we're going to uh, look for the old theme. And what you want to do is just navigate to your C drive, uh, program files 86, Arduino, go to lib, and here's your old theme right here. So um, I recommend saving uh, this copy just in case you change your mind later so you can switch back. So let's just go ahead and create another folder, call it old theme, and then we'll take this theme, we'll move it here, continue and then we'll take the new dark theme and we'll drag it into the lib folder continue and that, sh that should be it so let's go ahead and close the Arduino close this and then we could restart the Arduino all right so there you have it the dark theme it's a little bit easier on the eyes and in general it just looks uh, way better and gives you a better experience working with the Arduino. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to enable custom fonts for the Arduino. So if you go to File, then Preferences, you could see that by default, uh, you could only change the font size, not the actual font itself. And, um, and in order to change the font, what you want to do is navigate to this link right here. And then it'll open the uh, user preferences for the Arduino. Go ahead and open the preferences.txt. And here, if you search for, if you do control find font, uh, you could see here editor.font. And then you could change this to whatever font that's on your system. So right now, um, if you go to system font settings, a popular font that a lot of people like is uh, cons consolas so I'll show you guys what that looks like so all you have to do is type in uh, the font here and um, it's important to know that when you're changing this uh, to go ahead and close the Arduino IDE because if you don't close it then um, it will automatically default back to the original each time you open it back up again so close make sure to close the Arduino IDE and then change this to whatever font you want. So I'll go ahead and save. And then once you open up the, once you restart the Arduino again, it should have a, it should have the font that you uh, wrote down. Okay, so here's the Consolas font. A lot of people like it because of the distinguishing feature between the zero right here and the O and the capitalized O. Um, there's a dash through it and overall it just looks um, it's a little bit bolder and it looks a little bit nicer another font that's popular that I use that I use personally is the bitstream Vera sans mono uh, you can go ahead and download it here and I'll show you what that looks like so just go ahead and download save file and then I'll create a folder so I'll so I could extract the files so go ahead and open up the downloaded zip file just extract it to the folder and what you could do is uh, highlight all of this and then just install for all users and it says here um, that I already have it but I'll just go ahead and download and replace it Okay, so once it's downloading, again, we'll do the same thing. Just go to File, 
preferences click on this link right here preferences uh, for font we'll change it to um, bit stream vera sans mono and again before we save it make sure the IDE is closed and then we can save it and go ahead and open up the IDE and here is the um, the bitstream font so it's similar to con consolas but um, I just like it a little bit better okay so I hope you guys found this video helpful um, and I'll see you guys in the next video bye